Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mario Rago with Rago Fabrication, and today we're going to be installing our Rago Fabrication Toyota bed channel stiffeners on our third gen Toyota Tacoma. Let's get started. So to begin this install, we're simply going to start removing what our bottom bolts here, and then we're going to remove our light. Um, just to mention a helpful hint, um, the one with the R goes on the passenger side and the one without the guard goes on the driver's side. So to unstall the silver bolt, we're going to use a T55. To unstall the D-ring there, we're going to use a T40. Next, we're going to remove our uh, light over here. We're just going to unscrew these bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. So now that our light is loose because we took out those three bolts, we're just going to pull it towards us and it's going to pop out. There's a clip in the top and the bottom. And then what we're going to do is you can have it dangle or you can just unplug these. It's up to you. It's not going to hurt if it dangles. Um, obviously you want to be careful not to scratch a paint or anything. To start, what we're going to do is take our bed channel stiffener and simply just install this one silver bolt. So the next thing to do is take out this retaining clip here. Um, you can use uh, wire cutters or needle nose, pretty much whatever you want. You're going to probably most likely end up bending it and breaking it, but that's okay because we're not going to reuse it. So now that these bolts are tightened up, well, you want to fully tighten these because um, it's going to push the plastic bed down and everything and let it settle so we can go to our next step. The next step is simply going to go through drilling these three holes out. And what I like to do is line it up so it's parallel to the bed here and then get a center punch and center punch exactly to the center of the hole. That will allow that drill bit not to drift. And then I'll get a small drill bit. This happens to be a 3 16 I'll take my drill. I will drill where I center punched it. Then I will go to a next larger bit if you have it or a unit bit slash Christmas tree bit. The bolts are a half inch. So if you have a half inch unit bit, they work quite well. Just go ahead and drill out that half inch hole so we can, um, put some silicone and install our half inch nut, half inch bolts. So what I like to do is um, once we have the top hole drilled, I will simply insert the bolt into here and put the nut in the back side. That will allow it to the bracket to not the drift. So when you drill the other holes, um, they won't be off-center with each other. So we're just going to go ahead and repeat the process for the other two holes as well as the other side. So now that we have our holes drilled out, what I'm going to do is tighten my first bolt with our 19 millimeters. So we're basically go down our line inserts our bolts, repeat the same process, and that pretty much concludes the install. You're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. It's a fairly simple install. So to show you a little about how these work, I'm gonna show you this side as opposed to the other side, which I don't have bed channel stiffeners. I'm gonna go, go ahead and close the tailgate and put some force and pull. And there's very little movement. You can see I'm moving the whole truck and I'm pulling really aggressively. Well, I'm going to show you on what happens on the other side. And you can see there's substantially more movement in the truck. So a lot of questions I get asked about bed channel stiffeners are what are they for and why do you need them? Well, simply put, um, the bed is plastic even though it's very durable. What happens is there's not many structure at the end here. And once you put a rooftop tent or any load on the top here, the left and right sides start spraying apart from each other. And bed channel st stiffeners prevent that. So you're not going to get cracking in the corner or a lot of fatigue. 
and based on normal wear and tear, especially off-roading when you have a rooftop tent and accessories um, and all that weight placed on the top of the rails, it tends to put a lot of stress on the bed sides. There's been issues where people can't open their tailgate, the tailgate won't close. Even if you have camper shells, it takes a toll on the bed sides. So that's why we came up with the bed channel stiffeners. So just a little info about our bed channel stiffeners. There is a rust free guarantee. They're 100% stainless steel, which is substantially stronger than regular steel. And the way we designed them is for low profile. <clears throat> if you have drawers in the back of your truck, these will still work. If you have a floor mat back here, it will still work. We designed them to not be obtrusive. We did cut some slots in the side for hooks and stuff like that. You can still retain the, the pivoting D-ring. But we were mostly um, caught up on having a low profile while still providing uh, tons of function. So that being said, all of it is available at regofabrication.com. You can follow us on Instagram at regofabrication as well as Facebook on um, Rego Cool Kids Group and our Rego Fabrication Group on Facebook. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.